we were thinking of ideas for our next show. We started tossing around the idea of having a Valentine's Day show that was centered around themes of love. And <sighs> this is my idea about the next CD. Yeah. I think it was mine. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it sounds very it mine. Kate. <laughs> and so I had this idea that nobody else really wanted to do, but I made them do it. Each person would pick a love song and they would would cover it. Um, oh, I think originally we assigned each other songs and then it just ended up being that we were like we were all like, oh, well, I don't relate to this random. I, love yeah, song. I can't make a. I don't yeah. know, like. Yeah, well, I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I covered Je t'aime mon plus by Serge Gainsbourg. Um, do you want to say why you chose it? I. To me, uh, as cliche as it sounds, like a timeless, dirty love song. <laughs> <laughs> so that's. Uh, I don't know, I just always. Um, I probably heard it for the first time when I was like 15 or so. I loved Serge Gainsbourg. I like visited his grave in his house when I went to Paris so it's like like read by He has this more perverse idea of love that I've always kind of not but I just I just think is interesting. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I chose Hands Down by Dashboard Confessional. Um, it was actually the very first, I didn't know what to choose, and it was the first song that came to mind, and I was very embarrassed, so I tried to pick another song, but it became clear that it was a song for me. Um, <clears throat> I, I listened to it a lot when I was in middle school, and I have this very clear memory of my friend, um, Molly playing it for me and saying that every time she hears it, she she cries, and then she kind of like forced cried in front of me while she was playing it, and it was really like beautiful and weird. And I was I don't know I was kind of like uh, in love with her, and um, I actually ended up said I sent her this this mix and like told her how I felt about her then and why it was like. I don't know, she, I think she thought I was like obsessed with her and then my friends started bullying me because I was, I don't know, sensitive and like easy to bully. Yeah, we actually talked about it and she, this, and she apologized for making it hard for me to express my feelings and to come out and she actually um, has, a, has a girlfriend and she's okay as well. So that's a twist to the tale. Plot twist. Um, but this CD actually did a lot for me, and I and I made a cover of Hands Down with Molly, and she lives in Ireland. She sent me a version of her singing. We both agreed not to look up the lyrics, just to sing it from memory. So there are parts of their gaps. My song was um, Strange Powers by Magnetic Fields, which is kind of, uh, it's a song that I love, it's very, it's kind of cheesy. It's very, um, I've been, I've listened to the Magnetic Fields since high school, so it's like a very, like, similarly, like, the first times that I remember being like, really, 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 really in love were around the same time as I was starting to listen to the Magnetic Fields, so it's like, very associated. And the video is really cute, and I feel like that like helps a lot. And it's funny because it's like this idea of love that's like very much like a personal reflection on love, like devoid of the other person being there, which I think is interesting as a love song concept. And I can't sleep, 